Hello. What is up? How is everyone? We're here. We've got Wild Space. Here it is. It's Wild Space. Wild Space right here. Very cool. Um, as is tradition for our board game streams, I'll read you a quick introductory paragraph. This is the uh, the, the rule book. Uh, just take a look at that sweet, lineless, uh, Gindy Tartofsky esque style of art. Uh, the game is permeated with it. Do so, you like that? Um, if you like this type of art, there's mo there's more than enough of it for you in this game. So. Um, a new galaxy has just been discovered on the borders of the Empire. Commanding your spaceship, go forth and explore this new El Dorado, full of treasures and mysteries. Your discoveries will allow you to expand your crew, recruit specialists of all species, get help from robots, and catch the attention of Empire emissaries. Who will entrust you with important missions? Who will be the wealthiest explorer in the galaxy? We'll find out. Uh, and that's the goal. Our goal is to collect get credits. credits. Get that money. Yeah. Um, and this is on, correct? It is now. This is on. On. Okay. So uh, I am going to go through the components of the game real quick just to show you um, what they look like. All right. So there are three types of cards in this game. So let's, let's say what we're going to be doing first. Oh, yeah. So the first thing we're going to be doing... We're collecting a crew. It's a tableau building game. We're going to just kind of like place our crew in front of us as we go. Um, and so uh, we're using that to explore planets. Um, so now I'll show you the crew cards that we're going to build uh, or, or uh, assemble basically. The, the turn structure is essentially going to be drawing cards from this deck and these face up cards or playing cards, yeah. sometimes both. And the crew cards can let you do things when you play them. So a turn is essentially just doing one thing, but that could lead to other things. Yeah. Um, it, the uh, Johnny Magic players, combo players, I think would really enjoy this game. Yes. Um, so uh, I am... Uh, first things first, we've got specialists. Okay. These are crew members with blue borders. Okay. Um, this is the crew member's species up here. Lizard. And then this is the crew member's uh, occupation, occupation yeah. is, is the term for it. So um, this is botanist. Um, and there's six occupations and there's six species. Okay. Um, there's some other stuff on this card I should note. Uh, right here um, is a special some special hieroglyphics that exist. And we'll explain those as we go along. But... Uh, uh, most specialists are going to have some sort of hieroglyphic to go with it. And in the corner here, there's actually a nice little icon that serves as a, as a visual reminder um, that other cards will refer to. Okay, so that, that means it's a specialist, right? That means it's a specialist, yeah. Okay. That is the type of card that it is, um, and uh, this will often uh, be... Reiter this icon specifically will be re reiterated throughout the game in the, other ways. The blue circle on that card is the cost to play it, or what you have to do yes. to be able to play the card, and yeah. the other circle on top of it is the benefit you gain exactly. from doing that ability. Yeah, um, and uh, the the standardized hieroglyphics they're just they're gonna they're the same throughout the game. So once you know what they are, they stay they stay that way. All right, right here, this is an emissary. Okay, clipboard in the corner. All right. Um, emissaries have species. Emissaries never have occupations. And they never have anything that happens when they come into play. Uh, right? Oh, no, no this one does. This that one does. that is they incorrect. Costs? They have costs? Some, they, they, tip, they rarely have costs. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the new Keyforge set. Absolutely. Uh, that, I would not be mad at it. I wouldn't be mad at this faction as, as the... Although uh, Star Alliance is kind of step on their toes there. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's whatever. It's it doesn't fine. matter. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, now, emissaries right here, they have a box that gives you an extra objective, um, an extra way to score points. Once again, it's a series of hieroglyphics, but uh, once you translate those, it's pretty standardized, um, and these patterns repeat themselves over and over um, in this box. So this is telling you three credits, which is what we want to win, for every three uh, programmers that you have. And that's the the 
icon right there. So all so, adversaries do is give you a different way to score. Yeah. That's the normal scoring. Our botanist lizard from the previous example does not count towards the programmer limit. However, if we find a programmer lizard, he would count towards it. Let's find a programmer lizard. Um, yeah, we'll just show you. Off, I got one right here. Okay. Here's an octopus programmer, okay? So this uh, programming symbol right there, if you've got two more, you get three points. If you've got five more to go with this octopus, you get six points. So it kind of scales up from there. Um, gives you like an objective, something to work towards. So, um, and then this right here is something is an effect that you get for playing the emissary, um, which in this case would be drawing a card. Uh, now the the final uh, the, the third unseeable, but uh, um, yeah, this is going to get chroma keyed. Um, but oh well, I'll make sure to show it in the center right here. It's green, so it's going to get chroma keyed. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, but uh, here is a robot. Okay. Very cool. They are um, uh, their cards, the square cards. Yeah. They. Um, yeah. There's uh, a giant deck of cards here. You can they're see. coaster. They're smaller than coaster sized, uh, but uh, they're they're they are square. Um, so, okay. Robot icon here in the corner. The little robot face. Um, up here, most of the robots, I believe all the robots, are worth victory points just by playing them. I think that's correct. Yeah. Um, some of them have occupations. Some of them do not. Um, and this robot also has an icon right here, this little metal icon, which I believe is the term is veteran. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and we'll explain veterans in a second, but uh, you get a veteran benefit when you play this robot. Now, there's lots of different types of robots, um, and so they can count towards occupation goals, but they don't count towards um, uh, species goals. Because they are not species, they're robots. Exactly. Um, okay, so... Uh, there are we had uh, the owl, we had a lizard that I showed you. We, I also showed you the octopus. I'm going to show you the three other species real quick. Um, we've got bears, cool bears that wear jackets. Um, we've got rhinos, <laughs> and we've got monkeys. This monkey might be chroma keyed because the monkeys are green, um, and we got monkeys. <laughs> That's pretty. Cool. It's camouflage right now, but um, Wait, but I can fix this. Well, yeah, yeah there you that. go. That's, that's, exactly what, that's what the like. monkey looks like right now. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. the um, At the end of the game, when you're scoring points, if you have one of each animal in play, you get the diversity bonus. Which is 15 points. Yeah. So, so if, you collect, if you manage to collect on your crew one of each of the six animals, boom, 15 it's, points. And that's a lot of points. That's per it's, set, right? If you manage to collect two of everything, is it... I don't Another think 15? so. I think it's only one. I think it, I think I'll double check, but I think it is if you have one of each. Okay. Um, you score. So. No, it is for each complete set okay. of six different. So you can be diversification. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. So it's basically set collection. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's set collection plus. Well, it's like it, it's like some set collection on top and of set collection. You've got some combo pieces yeah. going on too. So. Um, now, real quick, just to show you a couple of the other cards. This bear right here, if you have a pilot... Like that right, this, right next to him. Um, uh, if you've got a pilot in play and you play this bear, you get to draw two. So if this bear were, or if this rhino were in play and you play the bear, you get to draw two because you got a pilot. And if you don't have a pilot, you don't get the bonus. Um, the monkey right there uh, is looking for military, which is the gun. Um, and well, I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you. Okay, so this right here, this octopus, if you have a military in play, this lets you play a robot or an emissary. Um, this right here, this owl, is looking for a programmer, and it lets you play a specialist, okay? Now, if you're looking at these last couple of cards, your gears might be turning, right? Um, this rhino right here is a programmer that says you can play a veteran, all right? Uh, let's just see if we can find this. I remember, th every time it says you can play a card, that's essentially an extra action you're taking. Yes. Um, this military monkey lets you play an emissary, okay? So, um, there are, there's like this phase of the game where you're trying to collect some resources um, so that you can, you can play like these huge power spike turns, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind as we start showing off uh, the planets, which are the places that we are traveling to. Um, so the game is going to start 
with two starting planets. You want to talk about captains real quick? Uh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Um, so your captains um, are crew members that just start and play. Uh, and there's one for each uh, species. Um, and uh, Justin's showing off the veteran token right there. So when um, you play a creature with that symbol, that's a veteran symbol, you get to move that, put the veteran token on the track of your captain and gain that effect. So you, in this case, would draw one card. And then if you, next time you play a veteran, it moves up to the next track and you draw two cards and so on. His fourth ability is play a guy for free. Yep. Pretty good. And then the last ability is seven credits. So if you can play enough veterans to get to your scoring bonus in your captain, that's pretty good. And all the captains have different abilities. There are six different captains. Again, yep. one for each species. Yeah. Uh, and your captain always counts towards your crew. So, um, yeah. Uh, so your captain counts towards your species diversity bonus. Um, it and, gives you like a starting point to work with. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, the veteran abilities are all pretty good. Um, most of the time, you're going to want to try to get at least through part of your veteran stuff. And um, similar to the the diversity bonus and scoring, there's a bonus for collecting the same animal. Uh, if you collect three of the same animal, it's what five points. Yeah, you get five points. And then for each yep. past the three, you get five points. So if you have Four monkeys that's 10 points if you have five monkeys that's 15 points yep and so on yeah so you can get some truly silly numbers if you have like a stack of same animal in play um okay so how do we actually play these cards all right so on your turn um you get the choice to explore a planet or land on a planet okay um, and these are the two starting planets. And these planets, we're actually, we're going to keep these um, in a place where you can see them as we play the game. We're going to keep them on the card cam and we're going to flip back and forth. Um, so, but uh, yeah, um, uh, the bottom row, there's like a clear divisible line that you can see right here. So the bottom part is the landing on a planet. So if I land on a planet, I place my ship there. Yeah. Um, and then as an explore action, you can move your ship from the bottom part of the planet to the top part of the planet, and you get access to the icons at the top right there, okay? Um, so, you messing with the, uh, the chroma key yeah, there? Yeah, you keep going. Okay. Um, so, uh, if Justin places his ship here, he gets to play a veteran, okay? Um, you could place your ship here, and this says draw a card and the line in between is or so you choose whether you draw the card or play an emissary um and this one is discard a card to play a card this planet and then this is discard a card to draw three okay um so at the very beginning of the game you've only got four actions to to pick from um, and I do think this helps with decision paralysis, especially if you're like coming into a game that you've never played before. It can be very, uh, especially a game that's got as many hieroglyphics as this game does, yeah. where you're just kind of like, what is actually happening here? There's going to be five total planets in play. You have... Yeah. Uh, and we'll get to those planets in just a second. Yeah, you have five ships. On your turn, you're either going to place a ship on a planet you don't have a ship on, or on one of your ships, take off and gain the bonus in the top row. So you have exactly 10 turns. Yep. That's relevant. Um, every player has 10 turns. Um, so the game the game moves. Uh, this was probably the best game that we played at Gen Con for time efficiency with the largest number of players that played. Yeah. Right? Um, which, if... Uh, I don't know how large play groups currently are um, with COVID, but uh, we might get to a point where you may be able to play with large groups sometime soon. Uh, and this game, I think, is a is a pretty good candidate for a table full of people. So. Well, games. I was miserable during a few games that we had a lot of people. Yeah, uh, he was audibly and visually miserable <laughs> during several games. I just I get very annoyed when I'm waiting literally 20 minutes for my turn. Yeah, that is not the case with this game. No. All right, so um, those are the starter planets. <laughs> that was pretty um, insufferable. I know. And um, now uh, there are random planets um, that have crew requirements to get to this is called wild space wild space is the name of the game all right so uh, i'll just move the starter plants out of the way real quick this one is chroma key they're all gonna they're, they're all, all gonna be chroma green. key they're pretty green um uh so but um this three up here 
says you have to have three crew members um, to come to this planet. Now, this planet starts face down, and these are randomly selected. As you can see, there's there's three different ones, right? So if you even if you've got um, a lot of experience with wild space, um, you can kind of guess, but you won't necessarily know what's coming up. Um, but uh, so this planet, this lets you play one of these occupations right there um, on this side. And this side says discard a robot or emissary from your hand to either draw three or play one. Okay. Um, and then every planet's explore action is draw three or, um, or play a card. Uh, yeah, this is exactly, you need three bodies. Now, there are missions that you're going to send actual red shirts to their death to play, um, especially at the higher uh, crewman totals. There's another crewman total for six, right here. Um, or planet that requires uh, six crew up here. This is, the plus means both. So this one lets you play an emissary and draw a card. Or this is discard um, one of those uh, occupations from your hand to draw three or play a card. Or is that discard from play? Um, the X underneath, I believe, is discard from hand. Okay. Um, this one right here, the X uh, on the symbol and mm. the X red arrow okay. is discard from play. I see. So once you've got nine crew members, you can go to this final planet. Um, and this one requires that one of your crew members explode here. So this is, this is the, the, um, the much cherished death of a red shirt um, on this planet. Um, but you would get to draw three or um, uh, play a card. Uh, this, is, this symbol right here is actually play a card from the middle row. And I'll explain the middle row here in just a second once we get to set up. Um, so if you're curious about that, but yeah, um, and uh, there are two nine planets. There are three sixes and three threes. Um, so uh, you've got quite a bit of variation there. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab our random ones. Yeah, we'll go ahead and ready. random randomize the planets. Um, these planets do go face down to begin the game. Um, that's just part of the setup. We'll make sure we're not skipping any setup. And boom. So you have a little variety game to game with that, yeah. with those, right? Because they'll always be different. Uh, and I got a feeling this game's going to go pretty quick. So Justin and I might be able to get uh, two rounds of this in, possibly even a third. It just really depends on how fast we'll they go. We have no idea. Um, so, uh, okay. That's that. Um, um, we each get, now? We get one random captain. Boom. Okay. I'm the squid. I'm the monkey. Oh, the monkey's pretty good. Experience has told us the monkey's pretty good. Um, okay. Uh, we get the spaceships and the token. Um, we shuffle all the crew cards together. It's very important we keep these cards the right way oriented, uh, or else it'll be impossible to shuffle them, because square sleeves are uh, take intense concentration to put on all the same way, right? <laughs> and if you change it all, if you get them shuffled up or twisted at all, they all face the It gets way. terrible. Okay. And then you're like shoving cards into sleeves trying to shuffle. So. Yeah. All right. I have to use all of my shuffling brain. Uh, my years of shuffling uh, commander decks has trained me for this. Yeah. Oh, geez. Okay. And the, the cards uh, aren't super clear what orientation is up. It's just some <laughs> planets on the back, right? It's not like there's words or anything. You do have at least that gray bar on the side. I think that's the yeah, best, okay, that's a good, that's that's the good best indicator. visual indicator. Yeah. All right, so this is our deck of crew members. Okay. We played it with five. It's, it's, that's up to five. Yeah. And it was fine with five. Yeah, it's, it's, it's lightning quick with five. Yeah. Um, I don't see there, there's like no reason the game can't have an expansion to have a six player, honestly. Um, based off of how fast it plays. Um, okay, so each player draws three cards. And that's our starting hand. Okay. Uh, and then whoever saw an animal most recently is the first player. I see it. I, I see this looking at the thing down here. All right, <laughs> so Justin's the first player. Um, 
and um, we put three cards next to the deck. You know, you don't think I'm lying. He's right there. He's right there, chilling. Just chilling. Okay. Um, now, whenever we draw a card, best one to three. Interesting. Uh, it was good at one, five. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't. We obviously did not try one player. Yeah, it was good at five. It was good at five. There is there are solo. Rules. We played with four two and it was fine. Yeah. Then with five players, this center part here, you just forget about it. Just like don't even look at it. You're just you know, by your turn. It's gonna be totally. Different. It's gonna be completely different, right? Yeah. Um, now two players would be interesting because there's it'll it's gonna it's be really like Cascadia, right? Right. You're gonna have to deal with what's there. Yeah. No, no one's gonna deal with it for you. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, so anytime we draw a card, we can choose to draw from the center or the top of the deck. We can take a shot in the dark. I don't think oh, it's... Oh, yeah, 37 votes. I think it only released at Gen Con. I don't know if it actually is shipped out yet. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah. Uh, you're going first. Okay. So now, Justin chooses to land... Or explore. He can't explore so because he has not point. landed yet. Right. Okay. So I will form my options here. So I can place on the left or right planet. The left mm -hmm. planet I can play a veteran from hand. The or I can draw a card or play, play an, emissary. an emissary. That's terrible. The right planet I can discard a card to play a crew. Or discard a card to draw three. Draw three is pretty yes. good too. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go here to play a veteran for my hand. I have a veteran robot. So yeah. I'll play this robot and it's got a veteran token. And my monkey gets to let me draw a card. So I'll do that. I will draw. I think I'll just draw from the top here. I could all, optionally I could discard a card to refresh three these three cards. I could put them all in the discard pile and reveal three new ones which is somewhat tempting right now because i have a card in my hand that i don't think is going to be super useful unless it is useful uh i'm just going to draw from the top that's fine all right that's my turn that's my turn okay uh my turn um i think what I do is uh, discard. Hmm. Okay, I am going to land over here and discard to draw three. Okay. Um, so I'll just put the discard pile facing the other way right there. Um, so I'm going to discard this emissary who wants uh, the plus symbol next to this emissary's um, score means I have to have the most of something. So this wants me to have the most scientists, and I get five points. Um, so I would have to have more than Justin. If we're tied, I don't have the most. I have, if I have more scientists than Justin, this uh, rhino would give me five points. Um, and when I played it, I would draw a card. But in this case, I think I want to draw extra cards, so I'll draw three. Um, I do not hate this rhino, so I'll draw this rhino. Um, and then we replace the card. Incredible. <laughs> um, the, okay, do I want a cool bear? Or do I want... So this is, if you have 16 crew, you get 5 points. 16, 16 crew is a lot. 16 crew is a lot, but honestly, it's not that bad. Um, but then again, uh, in... I think five player, you you get to see more cards, and this I'm willing to bet we may get choked. Yeah, um, I'll get this uh, bear that wants the most mechanics. It's kind of a hate draft since Justin starts the game with a, a mechanic, um, and I'll and it also draws. There's one. no max crew size. You can get as many guys out as you need uh, as you can. All right, so this is pretty good. This is a lizard mechanic, and I just drafted an emissary for mechanics, and it also lets me play a veteran. So I will take this card. Okay, so that's a lizard who lets you play a pilot um, when you play it. So, also probably pretty good. That was, that was all your draws. That was all my draws. I drew three cards. I now have five cards in my hand. I had to discard one. Um, so down two, then draw three for three. So, so I could either land on the right planet or yep. uh, take off on the left planet. 
Yep. So I think now is the time for me to take off and draw three. Do I discard or I draw? I think I'm going to discard it until clear. I'm going to discard this robot to refresh the center before I draw. Mm, that robot's pretty good, though. The robot is pretty good, but I got stuff I got to do. Rhina, monkey. It's a good monkey. Definitely getting this monkey. So that's one draw. That's a that's a robot that draws three. I'm drawing that. That's two draws. And one more draw. Is a discard to draw three. That's if you have a mechanic, you play an emissary mm -hmm. robot. That's uh that's great. Yep. It draw is. on that. Oh, sorry. Yep. I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of uh we okay. got a lot of stuff. I knew that was gonna have to keep track of. It's fine. Nathan's turn now. And I got my finger on the button. It's fine for Nathan's turn. For my turn, I'm like going over here and I gotta go back. <laughs> uh, I am gonna take off and draw three. Okay. Uh, so I want this rhino that if it spots a gun, I get to play a specialist. So I'm gonna draw that. And there's no max hand size, right? No, I don't believe so. Um, flip uh, scientist robot that wants, uh, that lets me play a card from the center. Um, I am going to get this veteran, uh, rhino, um, and a rhino that lets you play an emissary. Uh, I'll get this rhino that lets you play an emissary. Was your turn? Yep. Okay. So now I have to land on that planet. Mm -hmm. So I have to either discard to play a card or discard draw piece. So I need to discard to play a card probably. Let me see what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, so uh, now neither of us have, uh, we, we both only have, I don't have any crew, uh, just my captain. And then Justin only has two. Now when Justin plays his third crew, that other planet, the third planet is going to get flipped face up. Mm, this is a tough decision. Uh, I'm going to discard this bear. The bear's actually pretty good. Play this owl. The owl says if I have a wrench, I can play a robot or emissary. So I'll play this robot that lets me draw three. Okay. Um, I will draw this monkey. It's one. Those are also. Yeah, I'll take those squid. Two and one more. A veteran squid or a play a card robot or a top card. Hmm. Monkey is definitely good with veterans. We'll, uh, we'll get the squid. See how that works out. Another squid. Squids all over the place. Okay. Now it is, uh, we have, I have four crews, so this is actually revealed now. Yep. This planet is revealed. So I cannot land on this planet yet, um, because I do not have three crew. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's your, it's, it's sort of your engine as you play it. They don't do anything after they sit in play, unless they're emissaries and they just score. Yeah. Uh, essentially, after they're in play, they're just scoring mechanisms. Okay. Um, I got to play some crew, so I am going to play a veteran. Um, and I will play the veteran rhino um, that I had. Um, so that puts me on the veteran track and also lets me draw one. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the squid that's looking for a gun, since I just played a gun that'll let me play an emissary or a robot. So um, that pops up. And it is now your turn. No, my robot's over here. Okay. So I can land or I can take off. Uh, the landing on the left side of that is just play a leaf, a, ro a computer, or a wrench. Okay.
kind of like that. So I'll land there. Yep. So I can play. I'll play this uh, monkey. That's a veteran with a wrench, and it lets me level up my captain because it's a veteran. My captain lets me play a card with its ability. So I will play this monkey. Uh, if I spot a pilot, it draws you. I will draw two. I'm not a pilot, a, a military. So I will. Should I just take some monkeys now? I don't have any pilots, this thing. Two for every monkey plus pilot. Use your captain's ability once per turn. You can only use your captain's ability when you play a card with the veteran icon, which is this little yep. metal right here. Then you level up your captain. You only kill him do that so many times a game. I think we all have five yep. level up abilities, right? Yep. Um, so I'm drawing two cards. I think I should get a bunch of monkeys. So that's, I think that's, that's a lot of points, right? If I have three monkeys plus more. That's one. I'll take these off the top. Two. Okay. That's my turn. All right, uh, I do have six crew now, so this is revealed. <laughs> All right. Um, I could play programmer, wrench, or botanist. Um, but first, I have to. I can't do that yet. Actually, I have to actually uh, explore. So I have to take off over here, play a card, and I have to play a third crew member here. Otherwise, I could. I like. I think I lose the game instantly because I haven't actually gotten a third crew, so I can no longer like play mm. onto the rest of the planet. So um, I am going to play um, this rhino. Who's, um, if you want to swap the card cam off, uh, I'll play this Rhino who's looking for a gun, which I have right there, gun. Um, and this lets me play another specialist. Um, so I will then play a very cool bear, I think. Um, yeah, we're playing a cool bear. And um, this bear lets me play a veteran. So I will play this robot who is a veteran. Um, and that advances my uh, veteran track. So um, I get to draw two. Um, all right, now, uh, what do I want to draw? Do I want any of these? Um, Robot. I think this robot that plays a card from the center is totally fine. Oh, it plays from the center. Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and or you could play from the center, or you could play the top card. Uh, it's just the center is like you got a lot of options. Hmm. Uh, and then I think I need this squid, this veteran squid. Uh, we always need veterans. We're always looking for people with experience here. So, owl is four. For every three uh, emissaries, okay. Yep. All right, so I have just so many options here. I could play a veteran plus draw, or a play an emissary plus draw a card. I could take off in either of those two squares to play something, or I could land and all three. Play. Okay, so I'm gonna, probably going to take off and play a card. Um, I'll just play this bear that's a veteran. I get to draw two. Do I want any of that stuff? Need... So I think I'll discard. Yep. Oh my god. Yep. I'll discard the squid to draw two. Or to, to clear the row. Okay. And before I draw two. Okay. 
Hmm. So I'll draw this. Uh. Yeah, we'll take that as well. Okay. Your turn. Okay. All right. So I am. Uh, going to go to the three planet. I did get to five crew members, um, so I can go to the three planet now. Um, I will play a wrench um, to expand my options. All right, so I will play this Rhino. Let's me discard a card and um, play a card. We had the the cards before I put them in sleeves. Uh, I I bought s sleeves for this game specifically because we play it so much that the cards are trying to get butted up. Yeah, which is going to happen with any kind of card board game where there are cards involved, uh, especially if you're doing a lot of shuffling. And there's a lot of people, uh, different people involved, and they're yeah. the cards are getting touched so much, just constantly. So sleeves were necessary. Um, but made of plastic, they would have not shuffled well. I, I would I would rather have regular cards than um, than plastic cards. I think. And there's a lot in this deck. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like 100 cards or something. Can't get rid of that. I guess I get rid of this lizard. Um, as much as it pains me to. I'll get rid of that lizard so that I can play a card. Uh, I'll play this octopus who, if, if I have a military, lets me play a robot or emissary. Um, so I'll play this robot that lets me play from the center. Um, so I will play. There's also this. probably increased like production cost to that. I bet you. Uh, I will play this owl veteran, who increases my veteran track, and lets me play another card, which will be um, this rhino, who lets me play an emissary. It's comboing. Which will be this bear. Um, and I get to draw one card. That's if you have the most wrenches, you get five points. Yeah. So however, however, I have four wrenches right now. Yeah. Yeah. I discarded a wrench, but mm. yeah. Um, I get to draw. Um, He's been assembling this for a while. I'll get this monkey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I. And uh, take off. Play a card. The card will be this monkey. Because if I have a leafy boy, I get to play an emissary or a robot, I'll play this monkey emissary, which is two points for every monkey pilot pair. That's my turn. Okay. Nathan at nine. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, four. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I got eleven crew. So the emissary early like nine two. Uh, the emissary earlier that was looking for sixteen crew is actually not looking that bad. So. Yeah. Um, but he's dead now. All right. Um, so I can go to this nine planet. That as long as I have an emissary and a robot, which I do, I can play a card from the center, which is pretty good. Oh wow. Um, oh, that's so good. So that's what I think I'd do. I think I'd do that. Um, and I am going to play this monkey. Stealing monkeys. Sniping monkeys. Monkey sniping. Um, this lets me play another specialist, and I have actually run my crew out of the visual area right there. We'll, we'll bring the monkey in. Um, so this lets me, if I spot a wrench, play a crew. So I'll play this other monkey, who lets me play a veteran, which will let me play this squid veteran, which will advance my track, so I've got my five bonus, um, and it is your turn. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. 
Right. See how fast this game plays? I feel like I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna play a card from the middle. I do have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exactly nine. So I'm gonna play this lizard. That says if you have a pilot, yep. you play a specialist. Well you you play until all of your ships have landed and then explored. So as ten well. exactly ten turns. So I got that lizard, and I didn't turn that off. I will play this squid with the lizard play. And the squid lets me play a veteran. And I'll play this veteran rhino. I don't have rhinos out yet. We'll put rhinos down here. Actually, we can put rhinos up here and we'll put robots down here. And that lets me move on the veteran track once. And it lets me play a card. Play this squid veteran. Move up one more time. That's all the cards in my hand. I have no cards in my hand either. <laughs> we're, we're, all, we're all tapped out. All right, Nathan's turn. Uh, I feel like I'm going to draw three. Yeah, that seems like a thing to do. Um, so I'll take off on the planet nine um, and then uh, draw three. A uh, squid that spots a scientist to play a specialist seems fine, so I'll draw that. Um, bear emissary. Bears and programmers. That's actually not that bad. Bear I got emissary. some bears and I got some programmers. Yeah. So I'll take this bear. Uh, and then a monkey. I can be a monkey sniper. I think I have to actually snipe the monkey because <laughs> you can't um, let me get monkeys. I can't it's let five me... points per monkey. Right? Yeah, you you just got you got yeah. too many monkeys. You got monkeys all over the place. So yeah. I'll I'll take a monkey. Okay. It's a squid. All right. So I I also I'm gonna just have to draw three and see what happens. Um, hmm. For squid and wrench, actually, that's pretty good for me. It's also good for me. So I will take that. It is plus points for you and minus points for me. Uh, for the most emissaries, it gets six points, but it's a monkey, so I'd definitely take that. And one more card. Um, more squids. Keep playing squids. Squids that play emissaries that I just drew. Sounds good. All right, Nathan's turn. All right. I am... Um... Now, do I play play an emissary and draw a card? That ain't bad. I'm thinking about ditching Chroma for the next game. We'll see what we'll see what it looks like if we just remove the playmat and play with the blue background. Um, see how y'all like that. I'm gonna go here. I mean, I get to play an emissary, which will be this bear. Um, and uh, draw a card. So I will draw this lizard because I need one single lizard. Uh, the symbol with the X marks means you have to delete that or discard a card with that symbol to get the effect. Yeah. So you would have to discard a card with pilot or with gun, leaf, or uh, microscope microscopes to get the effect. Okay, yeah, so my turn from hand, yeah. So I can play an emissary plus draw a card. I'll play this monkey emissary and it, it draws a card, so I'll draw a card off that. Rhinos and leaves. That's to prepare a rhino and leaf? Mm hmm. Okay. But a squid is a squid. That's one card, and then I got another card. And I didn't button again. <laughs> squid is a squid. That squid isn't going to be extra scores, though. But if I play all these squids, I'm looking good. Although I have one more turn, so it would have to be a combo type of thing. I'll draw it. Nathan's final turn. <laughs> No, you have two more turns. Mm -mm. You went first. Mm -mm. What? You have two more turns. I have one more turn. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, I gotta get this lizard into play. I gotta draw one off of it. Um. Actually, I don't have to get the blizzard. 
I so I will take off here. I will play this squid um, that if it spots a scientist, which I have, I can play a specialist. So I'll play this monkey um, who lets me discard a card and I'll discard this other lizard to draw three. So I will draw this veteran lizard. And bear that plays a specialist. Good. Oh. So I'll get this bear that plays a specialist. Then I'll get this rhino. Okay. Now. So my final turn. Justin's final turn. We're going space over here on planet three, and I'll play a card from hand. Uh, I am blue. You've, you've cheated. Go to space over here where I am. I will play a card. I will play. We go look at the spaceships. Justin's like, ah, oh, I get to go again. Yeah, I'll play the squid. Let's me play an emissary. And I will play this scory squid. That's it. Okay. Uh, so my final action is to take off on that planet. I get to play a card. I am going to play this lizard. Um, I'll move my robots down just a little bit so I can play the lizard. It is a veteran, so that'll let me move to there. It'll let me play a card, which will be this cool bear. It lets me play an emissary, which will be this rhino. That's that. Okay. So now we total up the points. That's everything. Here, we discard a card. The hands, cards in hand don't matter. They don't give you anything. Yeah, I had none, so. The maximum efficiency. All right, we got this, this very cool score sheet here. I'll be yep. tallying up. Yep, it makes it really nice. Um, and once you know how the the points uh, work out, then um, it makes calculating very very easy. Okay, so, so equals that is for uh, an, same, same animal. animal. So yeah. I have uh, three monkeys. That's five points, and then extra monkeys. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yep, points, and then octopuses. I have five more points, and then plus another five, so that's another ten. But thirty points, right? Yep. And then uh, set, right? I have one set. Uh, yep. So that's 15. 15 points. Emissary scoring, two per pair of monkeys and pilots. What's up, Great Camp? How's it going? Hey, what's up? Uh, so I have three wrenches, four wrenches, and I'm sorry, monkeys and pilots. You've got two pilots. Two three pilots, pilots and plenty of monkeys. Three pilots. So six. Yeah. Okay. That's six plus. The most emissaries. I have three and you have three. So, so I don't get that score. And then two per squid wrench. Mm -hmm. I have four wrenches and four squids. So that's eight. Right? Yep. So 14. 14. The robots, I have five. And my captain, I have four. Okay. All right. So Nathan. Um, so the same. I have four squids, so that's 10. I have. Uh, 15 in Rhino, so that's 25. I have um, uh, 10 in Bears, so that's 35. And then 5 in Monkeys, which is 30. Okay. Right? Yep. Okay, that's I've got good. one set. So 40. That's 40 total. 40 total? Oh, yeah, you're right. Right, 40 total. One, uh, set. one set, so 15. Emissaries, uh, Rhinos, and Botanists. Um, I have... One botanist, so that's two bears and, and and programmers. I've got two programmers, so that's four, so that's six. Uh, and then the most wrenches, which you stopped me on. So I have six in emissaries. Okay, robots. Uh, I have five. And then captain, I have five. You beat me because of emissaries. Uh, it's close. It's actually really close. I think you won, actually. Oh, let's, really? Let's do the calc. Let's get the calc out. So we'll get down to the, we'll get down to the calculator. We'll break out the quantum calculator. You need a programmer? I've got an owl programmer that can help you with this. Yeah, it's working. So 68. Okay. And you have 40 plus 15, 6 plus 5 plus 5, 71. Ooh, 1 by 3. Yeah. It's a close one. Yep. Yeah. Nice close game. Okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll play great with two. Yeah, that was fast. Yeah, it was fast. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can get another game in, I think. Right, here's, a, here's my plan. Let's see how this works. Okay. 
Working some stuff on I'll, uh, the fly. I will shuffle this stuff together. Yeah. Um, while you do some, we'll play with two captains that aren't squid or monkey this time. Yeah, around. we'll play with two new captains and we'll play with two new uh, things. Well. Yeah, that's a victory for the balds. Unfortunately. Yeah. Let's go balds. Ugh. Ugh. It's a it. victory for balds everywhere. <laughs> Old. Old. Old is over. Uh, that way? There you go. Uh, Why does it look like that? Is it the crim? Oh, it's because I. Is it the crim? What? Doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Why? Is there no light to reflect off of it? What is, what is happening? Is it because. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, God. <laughs> Staring into the void. Because I have set things on this camera for white balance. Maybe. My plan did not come together. It's because I it's because I white balanced it. Ah, uh, okay. Hold. It's pot pause champ. YouTube viewers, skip ahead <laughs> five minutes. Skip ahead five minutes, YouTube. <laughs> I'm Wizard Commander. You are Bear Commander. Yeah, it's got auto white balance. Auto exposure. Boom. Boom. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Here, watch this. You'll never know. <laughs> That's a different blue. Can't know this. All right, so starting planets. And these are the new planets? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Here's the three four. There's the nine for. Six. Okay. It's done. YouTube viewers, you can <laughs> stop skipping. Stop skipping now. I'm the bear man? Yep. Okay. The bear man. You cannot visit the same planet over again. Once you're on a planet, you can't even visit the second side of it. Yep. So you can only have a ship on one card at a time. So we draw three. Mm -hmm. All right, there is the center row. Uh, who was the last? Who was the last person to see a real live animal <laughs> in person? Uh, just go first as you oh, okay. last time. So, okay. Um, okay. So I can discard to play. I can discard to draw. I can play an emissary. Um, I could play a veteran. I do not hate playing a veteran here. I gotta, I gotta get my veteran track on. Uh, roads. So I'll go there. I'll play a veteran. I'll play this robot. Um, and uh, this is a pilot robot. Uh, three points and veteran. So I'll just play it down there. Um, gets me on the veteran track. Let's me draw one. Um, discard draw three monkey. I don't hate it. I'll take that. Ugh. Well, oh, enjoy geez. those emissaries. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, this will... is the most crew, right? This is more crew. Yeah, more crew than any other ones. Yeah. All right, we'll uh, do the same thing, I think. Yeah, we'll do this. Stop copies me. Playing a, playing a bet. Play this. Which bet, though? Play this wrenchy bet. You have multiples? 
Oh. <laughs> if I had a choice, it would be that one. Uh, draw one. There's a bear emissary that draws a card. I guess it's fine. It's fine. Bear emissary. Monkey that is looking for a botanist that it can play uh, a robot or an emissary. Okay, I think I just immediately take off and draw three. I need some options. I'll take this monkey. Um, this lizard that wants them uh, that's for every pilot. So I got. I just got a mess of pilots, so hmm. I'll take that. Um, and then a robot that is a veteran that is also a wrench. I will take that. With pilot, play robot or emissary. Okay. Yep. Rhino. That's a botanist. Okay, I will. Ooh, geez. Ooh, geez. So here's a situation where I would like, I would love to be able to land here, but I cannot, right? Discard to draw or discard to. This game makes you make some hard choices. Yeah, yeah. This is the this is the thinking man's phase right here. Hmm. I think I just take off, and I think I'll I'll do the draw three. I think I just gotta I gotta get some ammo. Gotta get some ammo. You can uh, discard a card at any time to reshuffle the center row. So if I discard a card from my hand, I can dump all these, draw three new ones to see. There's a thing that you probably want to do. Much as I can. Um, I don't like any of these, so right off the top is just, ugh, it's awful. But it could be really good. No, oh, Nathan's not a three. No, I drew three cards last turn. If I uh, had played another crew member, I would have the three crew. But yeah, I'm going. I'll draw this right now. Potentially good. One. That's two. Uh, that's three. I basically dropped the top. <laughs> okay, it was like off the top with an asterisk. Nathan's turn. All right, uh, I am going to uh, discard to play. Um, this monkey that I drew earlier, I'm throwing him in the dumpster. Uh, that's a D colon. I'll play this robot that's a veteran that lets me draw one. Um, and... <laughs> um, squid botanist. I pitch this to draw three. Pitch this to look at three new. I think I do. Um, I think this is worth it. Goodbye, Rhino. Um, these are all gone. Draw up three. A robot that draws three. A gun Rhino that plays someone. Well, I don't have any guns. But I might one day. <laughs> You're gonna want guns. Scientist, spot a scientist to draw to. Not bad. Play a robot to draw three. Also not bad. I could just have an entirely robotic crew. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Let's crew with robots. Ugh. More, most robots is five points on that emissary. I don't think I say no to that. I'll draw that emissary. Okay. A pilot rhino that lets you play a gun. Okay. Well then. Oh, and the three planet has now flipped. I cannot go there. Ooh. Ooh. 
think I am gonna have to discard to play a guy. But what? Um, okay. All right. Yes. Okay. This lizard is gone. Play a guy. To play. This lizard play this bear because it plays an emissary. Play this emissary bear uh, to draw a card. I'll draw this rhino. Okay, I'm done. This is discard a robot or emissary. Draw three. Or play a pilot, scientist, or military. Okay. I am... Uh, I'm going to take off. I'll explore there. Um, and play a card. I'm going to play this robot to draw three. I'll draw this veteran robot. Botanist. Where the where the dang botanists? Um botanist to play a dude. Uh, mm, mm. Let's take this bear. A rhino that plays veteran. Yeah, we'll take that. It was completely robotic crew. We're taking off. I will play a guy. I'm going to play this robot to play something from the center. I'll play this other robot. And it's a veteran, so I get to draw two. I will draw... This owl. One more. Pretty good owl. A lot of good owls here. <laughs> I'll get this owl. Okay. It's my turn. Okay. All right. So I have to discard either a robot or an emissary to get this plant. I guess I'm going to discard. I have six, by the way. Okay. Uh, all right, so I am going to discard this. Discard two cards to play a guy from the middle? Wow. That's yeah. crazy. Um, yeah, it's uh, a lot, though. That's Feels a lot. like a lot. Discard one of the other things. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of tough. It is tough. All right, so I'll discard. Um, an emissary to play a card. I am going to play this monkey who wants to spot a wrench, which I do have on one of my robots, so let me play someone else um, to play a specialist. So I'll play this uh, rhino that lets me play a veteran, which I will use to play this other robot, um, which in Increases. Oh yeah, card. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, increase that. So my, sorry. my brain is getting very into the game. Yeah, and, and it's it, really it, hard to switch gears. Yeah, this is where we need a producer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I played this monkey. Uh, spotted the wrench to play a specialist. Specialist was this rhino who spotted, or he lets me play a veteran, which is this robot, um, which will let me play a card off my captain. 
um, which I think is going to end up being um, this squid emissary, the uh, squid emissary, um, which will let me draw a card, um, which will be this other robot. The future, the stars belong to the robots. We have considered giving one of our mods remote access to be able to do that stuff, <laughs> but that's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole thing. And we feel like we have to pay them. Yeah. And that's... <laughs> I don't know about Whoa. that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. My turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can discard a computer or yellow pilot. Play a card. I can discard two cards. Play from the middle. Oh, boy. Okay. I don't like any of that. Do I like anything on the other side? Yes, but not yet. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this guy? Yes, this guy. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go here. To discard the computer man, this owl, and I can either draw three or play guy. Uh, I need to draw, I think, or I could play this veteran that lets me draw. Yeah, let's let's just play this veteran squid. Now I'll move up my captain bar. I'll draw this bear, and I'll draw. That robot. No, this thing. It's playing in areas, but for this thing, it's like not very visible if it's just somewhere else. There's just no room in this area. I want to make this as visible as possible. This is the most important stuff going on. That's kind of like you don't really necessarily. Yeah, you only have to see, see it, it to know what uh what the thing we're. Yeah. Okay. Your turn. Okay. So. <laughs> I is it worth taking off playing this robot? Um, get to draw two. I think so. I don't think there's an incorrect number of robots I could play. So I will take off on Planet Three. So let me play a card, which will be this veteran robot. Um, which will move my track up, which will let me draw to. So I will get this scientist lizard as one. You kidding me? This you, you monkey? Mm, this <laughs> monkey showing up now? Um. Cannot believe this monkey. Okay, I guess I, I need this bear. I need this bear. Give me this bear. Squid's the only true crew. Yeah. Planet nine. You get nine. Every game don't know about Nathan swearing at monkeys. Uh, yeah. Uh, it sounds it's about it's right. It's an intense animal based game. Yeah. Okay. I have, I have five robots and four crews. So that's nine. So okay. that will flip up the ninth planet. There you go. All right, the ninth planet is revealed. Boo, 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 boo. Squids from Plan Nine. It's my turn. I am going to land. Return to monkey. Here, play a play a pilot rhino. This pilot okay. rhino lets me play a gun man's. I'll play this gun owl okay. to complete my animal set. The gun owl lets me spot a wrench, play a robot or emissary. I'll play this robot that lets me play from the middle. Mm -hmm. I think. But what? Could be anything. 
The veteran is solid. We'll get the veteran. We'll play this monkey. And that gets me up to my veteran points bonus. Uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, all right, so I've got to land. Well, I can land on the other planet. Uh, emissary monkey to play a specialist. Oh, sorry. Emissary robot. Spot an emissary. Spot a robot to play a specialist. That feels. It just feels right to me. It's pretty good. That just feels right to me. So. Different shape ships. Yeah. I mean, that's something you can do with an expansion, right? Like a different, every color. Uh, I mean, there's ships. no, there's no, um, there's nothing saying that you couldn't 3D print your own ship. Yeah, you in could, this case, you right? could uh, like, swagify the game if you wanted, right? Yeah. There's, there's plenty to swagify about this. If game, I'm making so. a board game and a production costs, uh, like new mold of the thing, that's, that's a exponential cost, right? Yeah. Especially right now. Yeah. Um, okay. So I can spot. I have robots. I've got emissaries. So there I'll... were promos I did not get for this game um, when I bought it because the place was out of promos. And they were like, "Swing by the thing in the dealer hall if you want to get the promos." I was like, "I just want to go." <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't pick up the promos for it. Um, all right. So I will get to play a specialist. I'm going to play this cool bear. Um, that if I spot a botanist, which I do, I had to bring robots on board. I had to outsource all my botany to robots. I might get to play another specialist, um, which is going to be, I think, um, this, uh, another cool bear. Um, and I am going to discard this pilot monkey to draw three with this bear. So I want this squid. Welcome aboard, squid. <laughs> this, this is some garbage. All right, bears and programmers. Computer bears. I think that's actually very good for me because I've got some, yep, that's fine. All right, that's fine. Welcome aboard. Robot that draws three? That's pretty good. Are you kidding me? I got I got a lot of robots. Yeah, that's fine. Welcome aboard, robot. I have to every robot that I play puts it puts you further out of reach of stopping this emissary, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, okay, okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I can take off. I can take off. Or I can land on Planet Nine. Planet Nine is gonna be play a specialist, no matter what. Um, taking off, probably gonna be drawing three cards if I take off. I'll load up. So I think I'll do that. I think it's time to load up. We'll take off. Got my set. Working on monkeys and bears. Don't give a F about owls. I could give a F about lizards. You don't give a hoot? I don't give one hoot about owls. For someone who hates puns, you just made a pun and... That's not a pun! Where is Stormstrong? That is, that, is, that is not a pun! That is borderline. That's borderline. That's a dad owls joke. Owls hoot! That's a dad joke. That's a dad joke. Where's Stormstrong at? <laughs> Alright, I gotta draw a card. This squid is good. It's a good squid. That's one. I got two more cards. That's a good monkey. I'll draw that. One more card. Squids and ranches or lizards. Magnifying glass. Okay, we'll get lizard. Robot veteran. Whew. All right. This turn's gonna be gonna be good. I'm fired up. I'm fall fired up. <laughs> um, okay, so 
Uh, I cannot afford to discard any of these negative. Can I discard, can I afford to discard two of these negative? All right, so I'll take off. Line out of planet nine. All right, so I am gonna play this squeed. I'll have to move my robots. I got so many robots. I'm gonna have to break the robot into. Yeah, you don't have, that would be one pile. No, no, the, the robots are gonna be in pile. multiple piles. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, play a squid. That's gonna let me play a scientist. I'm gonna play this uh, rhino scientist. That's gonna let me play a specialist. Uh, I'll play this lizard um, specialist who spots a programmer to play a robot or an emissary. So I will play this robot that draws three to get this robot. God. I will hate draft this oh. just so that you can't have it. Um, and then an owl that plays a specialist. I need an owl. Welcome aboard, owl. Okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna get. This a specialist. Mm -hmm. Play this monkey. Bought a gun. Draw two. So I'll draw the squid. One. Um. Oh boy. I'm gonna have two more turns. These two. two. I'm going to discard a refresh. Before I draw two. Bear, bear, robot. I'm gonna draw this robot. Ugh. I'll draw this bear. So I have to go here because I don't actually have any of those to discard. So I have to discard two cards. Um, play something from the center. Um, so I will discard this bear. Um, and that bear and this robot to play this squid from the center, which will let me play a veteran. Be this robot. Get me to the veteran. Okay. Take off here, play a card. I'll play This bear, he lets me spot a beaker to play emissary, so I'll play uh, this bear. I'm, I'm sitting in front of this robot. I have this robot. Sorry. If anyone feels, um, if anyone feels swindled, I'm done. All right, I'll fly away, and I'll play this uh, owl, so that way I don't lose 15 points. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will. So take off. To play... This I have a robot heavy portfolio. 
play the squid. Okay. That's it. All right. Let's count them. Scores. That game was uh, sub what? That was like 30 minutes. Yeah. Two of us. Maybe less than 30 minutes. I think, yeah, I think it may have been less. Yeah. It was pretty fast. This is a good two-player game. Let me just tell you right now. Push my line closer to the center. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was trying to keep it closer. You're, not, you're less likely to block stuff. Uh, Justin, all right, I will. So equals, I have five points. So five, 10, 15, 20. Okay. It's not a lot. I have five. So, okay. I didn't match a lot. Okay. Of same. So I do have a set, so that's 15. Emissaries, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 guys. How many guys do you have? 16? Yeah, it looks so like more you, than 16. I have, the, if, uh, I have the most I have. Okay, so 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, and 7 is 18. All right, so I don't have that one. Uh, five points per set of three leaves. I have five. Okay. Five, and then two per pair of squids and wrenches. So I have three squids and three wrenches. That's six points. Okay. That's pretty good. So 11 total. Six. So 11 there. Uh, that's all my emissaries. Robots, I have three. And Captain, six. Okay. So you only have five for... Five for the same. Like animals. Yep. And then 15. Okay. Emissaries. Um, I, if I have the most robots, I get five. I sure do. Yep. Um, I have a cool uh, 27 points in robots. Wow. Okay. Uh, and, and then, then the nine in the emissary. Nine for the captain? Yeah, nine for the captain. All right, that's... Okay. Let me close. I think you got me on robots, though. I was hoping I was hoping the strong robot portfolio was enough to carry me. So I have 20 plus 15 plus 11 plus 3 plus 6. I have 55. Okay. You have 5 plus 15 plus 5 plus 27 plus 9. 61. Robots. Ooh. I think it was this uh, this hated. I needed hated... the veteran. I couldn't get to my last mm -hmm. veteran. Player. Yeah, I was trying to control the veterans there. So. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That was it? That's good wild game. space. Very good game. Look how fast it is. It's great. Um, clean up. I like the games that are basically just throw all the cards back into a pile. Yeah. Um, games like that for cleanup are always great in my book because you're just basically done very quickly just like this it's usually if it's got a fast cleanup like that it's got a fast setup too yeah which is a big deal yeah so good stuff good yeah stuff. there you go there's wild space yeah. for you was a um fast paced game uh and a lot of this there's no like the only interaction really with your opponent is like determining what you need from the center you can definitely um, take some hate picks, but a lot yeah. of the time you are kind of like uh, yeah. You you're, can't, if you're taking hate picks, you're really hurting yourself too. I sometimes. think so. Yeah, it, there's very very rarely can you hate pick something that is good for you. Yeah, the um, icons aren't so. as confusing as they seem. Uh, I I did when I first played. I had to play the game once to really get it. Uh, I had to play through an entire game before I was just like, huh? And and then it clicked after the first game. So, yeah. uh, the more you play. If you can get uh, like a group to stick with it for at least a game or two, they'll probably like it. Yeah, but I guess if people are put off by icons and stuff, then that just might be, not be for the game for them. Yeah, I mean, I think the reason the game is mostly icons is so that way you could print it in every language. Yeah, you just you have just, to change the language of the rulebook. You right? change like the rulebook, and then the rest of the card to the same. Yeah, so. it's pretty good. Yeah, I do like that about the symbology games. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because there's there's literally no names on these. Right, yeah, it's, just, it's pure art. So, there you go. That is Wild Space. We'll be back Wednesday night. Card game necromancy wars. Wars, the card game. Wars were declared. Trading card game, like the archives museum. Everyone's able to see what the cards do. Yeah, because then you're like, well, can I read that? It, but you can look from here and see, right? It is effectively learning a second language. It's not that complicated. It's just like, but ten words um, in that language. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but once you've learned the language and you know how it works, then it works that way every single time. So, what's your other Um, you took it somewhere. You moved it somewhere. I did. I did literally nothing with it. It was gone. Play back the camera. That's, That's right, right there. there. Play back the camera. Run um, the footage. Uh, yes. Once again. Uh, friendly reminder, if you want to get the maximum that you can, 
from the the wars stream um i recommend um checking out our card game necromancy star wars because the wars system is based off of the star wars system okay um so uh, uh have that system kind of in your mind um uh, when we when we explore wars this Wednesday, or so. we'll be explaining because I don't have that system in my mind. Yeah. So yeah. Um, but if you if you're familiar with the system, because uh, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna start the stream by asking you what is wrong with this Star Wars system. Let's just sit down and we're gonna list what is wrong with the Star Wars system. I'm so. gonna get a snack and listen to Nathan talk because I, yeah. I got really nothing to say about wars. I, yeah. I will be the. I'm super I'm, stoked. I'm the audience. Uh, and the, the audience participator yeah, yeah, to, yeah, this, to this card game. Justin is the audience surrogate. We, have, so. uh, we kind of have been doing that with our card game necromancy streams, at least in the past, where one of us learns the game and he essentially yeah. teaches it to the others and the stream at the same time. So, um, yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. They, that was Wild Space, though. Wild Space for look tonight. This, look at this awesome box. Look at this bo awesome box. Very good box. And honestly, and honestly kind of small I too. wish there was... I wish this, this was like a... Uh, was like a one sheeter RPG because this would be like just this art makes you want to play uh, the the Animal Crew of Space Explorers. I am. I think you could put together a Wild Space RPG in another system extremely easily. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. All right, Panasaurus Games. We'll take our commission now. Yep, that's it. If you want to pay us anything? <laughs> we just sold two copies of the game. Where's our cut? That's right. I feel like we deserve at least one dollar for those sales. So yep. But we're not actually sponsored, so hashtag yeah. this is not hashtag this is not hashtag ad. JK in brackets <laughs> meme three dollars. I, I, I'm cool with three dollars too. Any in, really in, anything you want to send meme. Um, what was it? Sponsor issue cowards. Sponsor issue cowards. That's that's the hashtag. classic. All right. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. See you on Wednesday.